This story is about a professional deputed to offer his paid services to wish the English culture-loving Americans off when they leave their British friends on a long journey. It was a cold grey morning of last week when the author reached at Houston to see off his old friend who was leaving for America. Author and his friends had given their old friend a farewell dinner who was leaving. They were all sad, thinking that they might never get a chance to meet their friend again, which is reality of life. All the friends accompanied him to the railway station to see him off. The sadness and stress was clearly visible on each one's face. Suddenly, the author saw a partly middle-aged man who was talking from the platform to a young lady at the next window. His fine profile was not clearly familiar to the author and he assumed him to be her father. The author kept on finding some clues about that man and in a flash he remembered his name. The man was Hubert Lee Ross. But now he had completely changed in past seven or eight years since the author saw him last in the Strand. He was an excellent actor but was not successful on the London stage. Hubert Lee Ross looked prosperous and solid now. He was now looking like a banker in his clothes. There were certainly tears in the eyes of both while parting. When he turned round, he seemed delighted to see the author and repaid him the half-crown he had borrowed. Then, continued talking regarding the pleasure he gains on reading the dramatic criticisms given by the author on every Saturday. In response to it, the author mentioned that he missed him on stage. As the conversation continued, Hubert Lee Ross told that he no longer acts on stage. Instead, he has started acting on the railway platform. He then told about the Anglo-American Social Bureau and further explained the working of it. He told that Americans are sociable people and most of them have plenty of money to spend. The Anglo-American Social Bureau supplies them with English friends. 50% of the fees charged is paid over to the friends and the other 50% is retained by the Bureau. And he was an employee who was just one of the seers of. The Americans who have no friend in England hire seers off from the Bureau against the fee that they could afford. They send the fee to the Bureau along with date of departure and a description by which the seer off could identify them on the platform and then they are seen off. Then Lee Ross explained about the worth of it. He said that it earns them the respect of the guard. It saves them from being despised by their fellow passengers. It even gives them a footing for the whole voyage. Besides, it is a great pleasure in itself. He further mentioned that one can't act without feeling and the tears in his eyes were not forced. Rather, he was moved when the train started, but one can't express their feelings. After listening to Hubert, the author also showed interest to learn seeing off and proposed Lee Ross to teach him too.